He works! <laughs> he works! So as you all know, a few months ago, I upgraded my instrument cluster and it's great so far. Everything works and I love it so far. And being a crazy fella that I am, so I decided to actually take it 10 steps um, further. I mean, 10 years or 10 steps, well, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> this is the 20, I think 2019 AMG steering wheel. Uh, I'm gonna put this on my car. My G, my car is a 2008 C300. And yeah, this might work awesome, or it might just be a total failure. I guess you have to wait to the end of the video to find out. Um, my car is a 2008 C300. And this is the 2019 AMG steering wheel. This might be a success or a huge failure. I guess you have to stay to the end of the video to find out. So I got this, uh, this just came in today. Um, I'm super excited about it. It looks great. Um, it's custom made actually. Um, everything here was what I requested. I have the LED thing going on on top there. I have the red stitches right here, the red accent to match my, um, my paddle shifters. Are these body shifters? Whatever they are. Yes, yeah, shift, whatever they are. Yeah, um, so I have the carbon fiber. I had them put a carbon fiber here just to match, you know, all the, yeah, you get your old, you get your old gist. So this comes like this, just the way you can see it. Um, it's pre-assembled. You gotta take the hair bag out actually to install it. And I think you gotta tuck this somewhere under your OBD thin um, right under the car here uh, yeah I think this actually sends the information to the screen that you have up here I'll figure all that out later uh, so yeah I don't know if you guys notice I have um, this amazing new carpet here it's been almost three weeks and so far I love the new accent this adds to my car uh, coupled with the carbon fiber thing I just think this uh, I paid like $90 for this on eBay and for that price, I think this is amazing. I'll wait till the winter to actually know how they uh, they hold up. Uh, but you know, overall, it's, it's an amazing upgrade. Um, all right, let's get back to the steering wheel. All right, so I have, I've already done an upgrade to my steering wheel before from my um, regular old, one that came with a car i upgraded to this amazing one i actually got this from ebay for like 400 bucks and got this airbag uh, from a local you know part place for like I don't know, 60 bucks or something so it was it was less than 500 and it was actually a great upgrade but you know why not take it a step about oh, 10 years farther than what the car really is and that's what i'm going to be doing today so let's get started uh, from my last video, you guys probably know that I do not like what people tell me. It's not possible. Um, it's pox, something in my head. And I just want to do what people say it's not possible. And that's why I actually got this. And let's see if it works. So one of the most important things you actually want to do when you're working on your earbag is you want to take off your battery so you want to pop your hood uh, it's really important I mean except you have you know the star diagnosis tools you know to erase the airbag errors and all that and for safety reasons I think it's uh, it's best you just you know disconnect your battery just it just helps so you want to take out the first tab have another tab here and there's another one in the middle and 
It should just come off like butter. It's not a, it's not that complicated. All right, so uh, usually you just disconnect the negative one and you go inside and turn on all your lights so any um, current left in the system can just you know, drain out. So I usually just press on my horn and turn on all the lights and yeah, that should drain out. So I'm just gonna go get um, something to take this off right now. So here I have the 32 wrench and yeah, just loosen it up a little bit. Yeah, kind of tight, but uh, yeah. Just take your time to take this off. This step is really important and your safety really depends on this part. So you want to make sure you don't miss this part. So, okay, I still gotta loosen this up a little bit more. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, that comes off. And um, yeah, just want to make sure it doesn't go back. And that's it. So guys, what well, you notice now at this point is, um, you know, you took your battery out. You, when you come to the back of, depending on the kind of um, steering wheel you already have, but there are usually two holes, one on this side, one on the other side, and it's been loose by uh, T25. So you just put it in. So um, for the right side, I think you turn two or two, and the other way, you turn two or two. So it's the same direction to open um, both. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And um, once you take those screws up, the airbag should just come off um, like barter. So once those are out, you can just, you know, take out your airbag and you see two clips here. So um, you just wanna use a flat head to loosen up the top and the bottom of the yellow and the brown one and you know, pluck it out. So you have these two clips here, just wanna use a flat head and press those two and it should come out after that. So this guy right here, you're gonna need this HW10. Uh, I think this is 50 pounds of torque. Um, this is very important guys, because you can't take this out without something this powerful. I've seen other people use pipes and all sorts of stuff, but this is work. I think I pay like $12 for this at AutoZone. This is really useful. Uh, I just wanna put that in there and just break that. Um, I wish I could record this part, but um, yeah, it's, it's hard to <laughs> feel with all this, but well, I'll try. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is gonna take some life out of you guys. Uh, I mean, I did this before and it wasn't funny, but I guess I forgot how hard it really is, but you really gotta hold, hold your steering wheel here and pull these down. Like you don't wanna leave the steering wheel so cause you don't wanna damage anything on the back end. So you wanna hold these down and you know, <laughs> with brutal force, you wanna pull that down and once that is done, you should be able to take these all out. And um, trust me, it's not as easy as it looks. So one thing you wanna keep in mind, you're gonna need this, um, this tight something bun thingy. You're gonna need that uh, later. Okay, so what I like to do, but we're not be using this steering wheel again, but you know, you just wanna make sure your steering wheel is as straight as possible. So that way, you know, you don't, um, you don't screw things up, <laughs> basically. Uh, so, once that is done, it, it comes off. Just like that. Just like that. It's not um, It's not that hard. And at this point, we wanna get our new fancy. <sighs> Look at that. This is gorgeous. Like, this is perfect. This looks beautiful. Like, guys, like, you, you have no idea how excited I am with this one um yeah you just want to put this back on there and uh yeah all right let's go so like i said earlier it's very important that your um that your steering wheel when you park in your car that you um make sure it's it's as straight and as centralized as possible because i mean you don't want your steering wheel to be crooked when you're driving around. Yeah. 
I mean, your car would still drive straight, but you know, yeah, you don't when you're steering wheel facing some other direction. So you just want to click, depending on the type of steering wheel you get. If you got the same one that I got, you just want to click that back in there. Uh, I'm trying to look at this, see how straight it is, just to be sure I'm doing the right thing here. Yeah, it looks like, looks like it's, it's straight. Yeah, it looks straight to me. And um, yeah, you want to put your, uh, actually I bought this from AutoZone. You know, it's, it's not the blue one, it's the red one, but you know, it's, 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 it's just as good. So you want to put that back on your bolt before bolting it back. That's just to ensure that, you know, the, the bolt stays in place. Just want to put a little bit, uh, just want to put a little bit on here. You know, just, uh, you know, just enough to keep everything together where it should be. All right. And uh, go ahead and put this bad boy back here. And you're gonna need your wrench to tighten it up, just, you know, to make it as tight as it was when you took it out. So, hopefully you guys see me do this this time around. Uh, you just wanna make it as tight as possible. Just, uh, you want to make sure this is as tight as possible. Uh, I cannot stress this enough, guys. Uh, you don't want your steering wheel falling off on you when you're driving. So if you're not sure of the specs for the torque, you can go to you know your user manual or your manufacturer's website and just see you know how much powder torque you need to apply. And yeah, I think mine is tight enough. Um, I'm gonna get some help on this much later, but um, yeah, it should be good. <sighs> so once that is done and you know the bolt is you know bolted back into place, you want to take your airbag. Um, uh, if you notice, now you have the yellow um, part, um, and unlike the one I took out, you actually don't need to bolt this, you just click this one right here. Uh, I'm not just sure what part goes where. Oh yeah, so I think it's directional. You're gonna see the part that bulges out. I think that goes, that face the other side, that face your left. Yeah, yeah, and you should hear that click. Once you hear that click, you should know everything is in place. Make sure this is well centralized. Uh, I'm not sure how this goes in though. Yeah. yeah. So I do know to remove it, I have to press something on the side. I think probably I have to repeat the same steps here. I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I hope I don't break this. <laughs> So, I think you just push this in, and once you hit that click, it should be good. And one more thing that these actually came with is this OBD thing. So I think this is actually uh, what you connect to your car that sends the information to the screen. Uh, that way you're able to see what's going on with the car, what your speed is, and all the information. Your RPM and all those other, all those other sweet stuff. Uh, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in. And this is great because um, it actually comes with one extra. So when you plug this to your OBD port, you still have access, just in case you wanna plug another thing there. I think that's really cool. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, hook this up right now. Uh, where is my OBD port? OBD port. Oh, 
Okay. So that is done. And let's go ahead and put a battery back. And just look at these guys. This is this looks great. Like this. This is a whole new vibe right here, man. Just look at that. That changes the entire car. Once you're sure everything is installed the way it should, uh, we can go ahead and pull back our battery. And the moment of truth is about to come upon us now. Okay, you wanna put your battery back gently. Yeah, you're gonna get some spark. That's all right. Push that back in and truck you back in. Okay, we have our battery stuck back in and this is the moment of truth. You take your key and put it into ignition here. And wanna start your car? Wait, no airbag errors. Thank God. Okay. Oh my freaking god it works <laughs> it works okay so scroll down here oh my god scroll down to the side oh shoot oh shoot it works guys <laughs> you do not know how excited i am right now it freaking works guys it works <laughs> All right, so let's try this. Oh my God, everything works. Uh, cancel. Oh, they did mention that um, the cruise control option is not gonna work. You're still gonna have to use your, I mean, I understand. Um, that's not a big deal to me. I don't give a hoot about that. Um, I still have my cruise control stick here, but that aside, dude, it works, man. Okay, let me try the power shifters. Um, I do know that um, you're gonna have to uh, get this coded, but I've seen guys that has this worked um, in manual mode without having to code the... Okay, so I'm in drive one now. Let me see if the paddle shifters work. No, it doesn't. So I'm, I'm gonna have to get that coded. I'll give, keep you guys updated with that one. But in the absence of that, this is great. Um, let's see if my volume works. Um, okay. Um, yes, it does work. I'm trying not to play that music um, for copyright reasons. You know how it is. Um, yeah, but the volume works. Um, I don't know if you can see that moving. It works great. The volume works. Everything works. My, no airbag lights whatsoever. Nothing. It actually did work. So the, there you have it, guys. You can have your car looking like a 2020 or 2019 car. Um, oh, I forgot about the, the LED thing. I really don't give a hoot about this one, though, but it'll be nice to see that it works. Um, I'm not sure how this comes on. I think you gotta... Okay, we got signal here. We gotta check this out here. I'm not sure how to turn that on. I'll figure that out later. So yes, guys, you can move from this boring looking one here to this amazing looking one here. This is amazing, guys. Uh, let me know in the comment section if there's any other crazy upgrades you guys want me to do. And um, I'll gladly take the challenge. <laughs> Look at that. Look at those lights. <laughs> So, uh, I'll do some time to actually figure out how this works. And, you know, oh, it shows you the temperature. It shows you your engine oil. It shows you your tire pressure. Oh my God, this is, this is amazing. And when you step on the gas, can you see that? Can you see that? <laughs> so this is really amazing. It shows you um, 
how much gas you left you left with uh lap information um battery percentage i think that's really useful um your air pressure i don't know what that engine percentage is um your gas 37 percent i think that's really helpful yeah to know how much gas you have left i hate this whole gauge thing this is way better um here are some more lab and then you can change this to fahrenheit whatever um just watch this guys check that out <laughs> this is amazing guys so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and i'm gonna be making more amazing videos um some of these upgrades don't make sense to a lot of people and it's okay it's fine but i just think it's great you know to be able to do something you actually want and to have it working the way you want it to i think it's uh check out this um amg my car is not an amg though but yeah a man can dream yeah but i really like this whole thingy it's, it's perfect i love it all right thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you some other time peace Oh my god guys this feels so much better um kind of feels like you're driving a race car um some sort of you know it's it's amazing i love this i like this steering wheel because it feels more steady um compared to the one i have before i don't understand why this light is going right now because i'm not really <laughs> raving that much but i guess i'll figure that out in the sentence um yeah, so it feels good, like the control and you know the old look and the overall steadiness of that. It, it's, it looks amazing. Yeah. So am I happy with this? Yes, I am. <laughs>